Hi, this is Tanya Ganguly, Texans reporter for ESPN.com. The Houston Texans filled several important needs in this year's draft, but they didn't start out that way. They started by taking Kenvin Johnson, a cornerback out of Wake Forest, a player that they thought was the best cornerback in this year's draft. Now, corner isn't a need today, but drafting Johnson means that in the very near future, the Texans will not be scrambling for that need. Drafting a player a year earlier than you absolutely need him is a good idea. But the move that I liked the best that the Texans made this weekend was the trade up 12 spots to get Arizona State receiver Jalen Strong. Strong has very good hands. He makes a lot of clutch catches. You should YouTube the Hail Mary catch he made against USC last year. It was incredible. And he gave, gives the Texans some size that they really needed in their receiving core. At that point in the draft, it was absolutely imperative that the Texans draft a receiver. They had to do it somewhere in the first three rounds. And they, were, they had come to the third round, and ten receivers had already been taken. I like Strong. I liked the pick. One thing that worried me was that in the course of the two trades that the Texans made, one in the second round for Benardrick McKinney and the other in the third for Strong, they lost a lot of picks. And the Texans didn't have a single fourth rounder. In fact, on day three, their picks were all compensatory picks and a seventh round pick that they originally had. That worries me a little bit because those are the rounds where you add depth to your team. The fourth round is a place where you don't always find starters, but you can on occasion, and the Texans didn't have anything there. Overall, though, I like this draft. It's impossible to know how these players will do what their careers will be until you see them play on the field, but for now, I'm going to give the Texans a B for this draft.